Stephanie, I want to go to you because uh, when you were first diagnosed, uh, I don't think you actually believed them. And so tell us a little bit about what you did when you heard that you might have glaucoma and how did you deal with not really liking that diagnosis? Sure. Well, first of all, I just want to say that um, I'm very grateful to be here today. Um, and congratulations to the foundation for having such an amazing patient turnout. Um, I think I was one of those people that uh, a visit to the eye doctor had taken a back seat because, um, and ironically, I worked in healthcare for a very long time. But um, when I first went in for an appointment, I thought I was just getting a standard eye check after not having one for um, a period of time that I don't even really care to admit. But <laughs> I, um, you know, I went in, I was told that I have glaucoma, and I, incidentally, I was diagnosed by Dr. Williams, who was fantastic. And I'm so grateful to both the foundation and him for um, uh, teaching me about this diagnosis and um, allowing me to kind of embrace it. I'd say that, um, you know, I definitely was shocked. Um, it, I think any of us could say that, especially if we're diagnosed later in life, that you think your vision's fine, and then you go in and you learn that it's not. And my left eye was so severely damaged, the optic nerve, but I didn't know until um, my vision was affected. So, um, so fast forward to today, it's been eight years, and I've been on four eye drops, and um, the pressure is well controlled. But I'd say the best, the best advice I can give to newly diagnosed patients, especially later in life, is to um, come to terms with it in whatever way you can. And for me, it was just um, gathering as much information as I could, to Dr. Williams' point, and also just being comfortable and um, being, not being afraid to ask your doctor questions, because um, the more information that you gather, um, I think the more comfortable you might be with the diagnosis. Thank you. Now, I think you told us you also went to an interesting website for information. Yes, yes, of course, glaucoma.org. This is an unsolicited plug. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, it's a fair, I mean, I, I'm thinking that the majority of you, how many of you have been on glaucoma.org? Okay, great. great. Um, yeah, you know, it's it wonderful information. You sub can subscribe to the newsletter. It can be mailed to your home, or you can check out the newsletter online. And it's just invaluable information. And actually, um, day three of my diagnosis, I live here in the city, I actually knocked on, I don't encourage this, but I knocked on the foundation's door because I really just needed information. And ever since, for the past eight years, I've been a very active volunteer, and I'm very grateful to the staff at Glaucoma Research Foundation. Thank you.